Hey, welcome back to the database management uh, demos that we're doing. In the last video, we did a read all, and we can see that we have pulled all of the data out of our database. In this demo, we're going to create a class, and its job is to insert data into the database. So let's start by creating a new class, and let's uh, copy and paste some code from our previous. This thing is going to be called uh, insert1, how about insert something? And let's see what we got. We got a main operator going on and finish. Now, uh, all the connection stuff is very similar to what we did before. So I'm going to start by copying the entire contents of the previous example. And we're going to put it inside of here. Let's see, no errors. So I got all the little curlies right. No, I got one extra one. So let's delete. There we go. Okay, so we got an issue. It says add throws, and that adds the SQL exception up here. We're ready to go. So the first steps are the same as before in the previous video. Our connection URL and password are the same. Let's use the same variables here for connection statement and RS. Now, the connection is successful, and then we have this statement. What's different? So instead of selecting data, we're going to be inserting. So let's delete this part. Insert into, and then we're going to have the uh, beautiful things table. And let's try and, and invent some values here. So we're going to insert uh, ID number three. Let's see, I think we have to do the word values. There it is. And then in parentheses, we got the number three. Let's see what else makes me happy. Video games. Okay, so let's put in a string. And then lastly, this gives me the happiness value of seven. So what did I miss here? Okay, I got some issues. We can't use quotation marks inside of quotation marks. So let's switch those back into single quotes. So they're still defined as strings, but a string within a string. Now I want the word wrap back on, so let's go into the editor, toggle the word wrap, and there we go. So a little bit different here. Instead of using result sets for inserts, we don't need result sets. So I'm going to delete that. And instead, I'm going to call this thing an integer, and let's call rows affected. And let's start off with a value of 0. And then down here, we're going to have rows affected. We've got an issue up here. It says uh, insert something doesn't match the type. It says we need to have result set. Well, result set is not what I'm after. Instead of in execute query, we're looking for something called execute update, I believe it is. That's correct, yes. So execute update returns an integer. There it is. And that tells us the number of rows affected. So let's print out how many rows are affected. So really, instead of saying process the rows, we're going to say uh, give a success message. How can you tell if you're successful? Well, the number of rows affected should be bigger than zero. Okay, it looks like we're ready to go. Result set doesn't exist here. That doesn't make any sense, so we can delete that. So we have a statement, and then we have the close. And let's see, we don't need to import that thing apparently, so we can delete him. All right, so let's save the work here. And insert something should now give us a new value in the database. So video games is supposed to show up next. This might give us an error here. It doesn't like to have ID numbers um, automatically assigned. So let's change that to the word null. And it'll automatically provide us with a three. Remember, in our database, we have two items. And these IDs are called auto increments. So that's why I'm going to leave this ID number as a null. Okay, let's see what happens. We run it, and let's see. We want to run that as a Java application. We got an issue. It says you have an error in your SQL syntax. Check the manual. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so what did I forget? It doesn't run. I think over here, just before the word values, I need to specify all of the titles of the columns that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to put in parentheses, we got ID, is it thing title, thing uh, description, and then the thing value comes next. And then we put in another set of parentheses and we got all the values. So let's save that and try it again. Let's see what we got. Still got an error. And let's see, we still have an error in our SQL syntax. Let's go and check it out again. Uh, let's see, we got this number seven. I believe we need to put it inside quotation marks. And then finally we have a close parentheses. That's looking more like it. Okay, let's save the results and run it again. And this time it's successful. So it says rows affected equals one. Well, we inserted something. Let's go check our database. So let's switch to our browser, click on Browse, and number three is Video Games. Perfect. So if I go and run this thing again, I get another insert, and let's check to see if we got two of them now. So we click Browse, and Video Games shows up twice. So if I delete one of those and try to run it again, we should have another one. Notice it does not automatically go back and renumber. So three is gone, it's gone forever. Five is the next one to come up here. And so insert seems to be working. That would do it for this video here.